taking the time. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we talked to you and a lot of fencing going on. Let's back it up a couple of weeks. You went to Northwestern, lots of matches there and some really good results. Yeah, uh, it was a very successful weekend for, uh, for us, Brian. We went uh, six and two with uh, in the men's side, six and five on the women's side. And it was a pretty heavy week. The competition was very long, both days, eight to five fencing, fencing, fencing. And our cadets came through the fence very hard, and uh, I'm proud of them. We had a lot of great results that weekend. Yeah, for sure. And then the following weekend, you go to North Carolina, 2-0 and out there against them in Long Island for the men, 1-1 uh, one one with the women to get the split. But uh, you must be pleased with the way your teams perform. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy with what we've done. Uh, honestly, we were going there to win. We were preparing for that. However, it was a good fight between us and UNC, but it felt very good to beat UNC in their own, on their own strip. So it was it was fun event in general. And um, I'm very proud with the direction uh, we're going. I saw our cadets fighting and staying on the strip focus and it shows, shows me that the preparation we've done last semester is paying off this semester. Everybody's getting focused and sharp. So I'm very excited about that as well. Individually, you've got a lot of uh, fencers that are doing quite well. I know you wanted to talk about a few of them. Let's go. All right. So uh, first I'll start with uh, freshman Melissa K. Line. Her, uh, her one record this semester is 30 wins and four defeats. And uh, last weekend she got, uh, last week she got uh, fencer of the week uh, on our conference and PSF. So that was pretty impressive. Last weekend at uh, UNC, she went 6-0, and oh, so it was also a lo very, very impressive. I'm very proud of her focus. And she's coming from an injury, so this is very impressive to see what she, what she can do. And then a uh, couple other great results I'm impressed with uh, was um, freshman Jack Griffith, who, is, um, who beat the number one junior ranked in the world, uh, Chase Emery. He's, a, he's at Notre Dame, so... Jack uh, went uh, with him. He beat him at uh, UPenn last semester, and again, he did the same thing at uh, North uh, Northwestern. So that was very impressive. That's not an easy win to take. Stepping on a world champion or a world ranked uh, athlete, it's a lot of stress. So Jack came through, so I was very impressed with his performance. And then uh, the other uh, cadet I'm very proud of is Russell Shaw. Uh, last weekend, he went 6-0 and oh at um, UNC and uh, was my being being impressed about Russell wasn't just because he went 6-0, and oh, but he actually beat an Olympian and uh, number 23 uh, ranked uh, fencer in the world. Uh, he's, an, he's an Olympian and uh, second in the junior, which is uh, under 20. So those are hard match when our cadets step in on the strip and we see those wins. It makes us prou proud. It give us that goosebump. You see your 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 fencer just going there, not caring who they are standing up against, and just like crushing and crushing the the match on the strip. So, I'm very pleased with that result. But overall, I'm very proud of where we're going with this results and what we're doing so far. So I'm very very pleased. Yeah, for sure. And uh, not only that, I know Griffith's a freshman, but uh, the other freshmen really performing well, and they get a chance this weekend at the Junior Olympics. Yeah, we are uh, building the team, as I said. It's a young team. We get 10 freshmen came in, as I mentioned in my earlier interview. And um, it's very, very nice to see these uh, freshmen grow very quickly and take initiative and fight very hard and de delivering results. So what I saw is all our freshmen are performing very well. This weekend we're going to compete at Junior Olympics at Denver. And... Um, I'm very, very excited to see what they will do. This is more preparation for them, more sharpening their points to get ready for uh, our conference championship and the West region in three weeks. Uh, let's just talk briefly about that. I mean, you got to feel pleased with your team, and do you feel like you're still going up? I mean, do you feel like there's still room for improvement? Absolutely, yes, uh, that's the point. We're, this is what we're doing, and that's what we planned for. As I mentioned again in my earlier interview, we start the season a little bit slow, but that's planning, and we need to get our cadets to be prepared and see where they at. And we fenced a lot of very strong colleges, and uh, we still are fencing a lot of, go of good colleges, but our cadets are improving and gaining that experience. So I definitely see the room to improve, and uh, I'm excited because 
not only that I want to perform well at regionals, I want to see the growth we're going, uh, these cadets are going through, and then I want to see how high we will do on the next event. Absolutely. Omar, thanks for the time. Have fun at the Junior Olympics. Thank you, Brian. Go Falcons.